Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Ed Honcho. Y'all know what it is on the records. You know I don't say my normal intro, but make sure you tune in to the streams Sunday through Friday, 9 p.m. Central. We're gonna talk about this later. But anyway, make sure you're following all the proper social media. Welcome to the Den Show. If you're not familiar with the Den, discussing everyday news, discussing everything naturally, discussing Ed's nostrils. I need to trim my nose hairs. But uh, of course, of all places, California, yeah, up to shenanigans again. You know they're having the uh, recall election situation going on. And um, Larry Elder, I'm not super political, right? I'm not super political. I'm just a casual observer. And I honestly don't care what's happening in California. Not a place I ever want to visit, ever want to go. Don't want to live and or die in L.A. Um, <clears throat> but we got to talk about it, right? Because there's a video that just came out. Larry Elder, a uh, candidate, getting attacked. We've seen all the hate. We've seen all the, the, the slander on there. Larry Elder, uh, the black face of white supremacy, crazy just statements that are being said from a lot of extremely left-leaning magazines. Y'all know me. I'm independent. I'm not, I have conservative views. I'm not liberal very much and not, not too many fashions or form, but I prefer to think to myself, not everything makes sense that everybody says. So, and this is what I encourage and implore some of you guys to do, but pay attention. We're going to watch the video. And if you're familiar with the den, you may know where I'm going with this. If you're new to the den, stay tuned. That's all I got. Let me pull the video up for you guys. A little mini hot show on the screen. Have a little baby. Uh, let's check it out. Bada boom, bada beam, y'all hear that? Y'all know I like to pull out the whiteboard. Y'all know I like to, to look into things a little bit. So we're gonna watch this again and we'll point out a couple of things uh, that took place. But this gentleman says Democrats should run everything. It looks like they've been running California for quite some time. And from what I hear and see, it doesn't look like uh, they've been doing the best of jobs. But hey, man, you could steal for free. So, you know, I told y'all, man, if I was in California, and I was doing bad, I'd just steal a bunch of stuff and start an eBay store. It's not like they're going to come after you, right? Just make you some money and then clean it up, right? Um, why not? Let me tell you something about people like this, right? So you see this guy. There are more than one monkeys in a mask in this video. You saw the lady, and you see this gentleman. Let's kind of bust it down. You know what I mean? We're going to bust it down a little bit, kind of a little bit of play-by-play -play as we speak on it. Democrats run everything. And you niggas make me sick because this is the problem. And I'm going to get into it, I promise. This is the problem that I have with black folks, especially when it comes to the political arena, is that y'all have been so brainwashed by one side, been voting so heavy for one side, and you still have the same problems that you've had for the last 60 years, if not more, right? But you've been giving all your allegiance to one side. You just recently did it. That man told you all this stuff, and what did you get from it? The alphabet community got stuff. The immigrants got stuff. Immigrants can't even vote and they got stuff. But y'all feel like <clears throat> that y'all deserve to vote. But again, these are the type of people that want handouts. And, you know, people who want handouts are usually already uh, cut off, if you will. I'm saying they do it mentally cut off because they feel like they can't do anything. They feel like they're unable to make any progress. So they need someone to look out for them. But people who think like that don't create, they don't benefit, they don't, you know, add anything to society. They just take away. So anyways, watch this. 
right? Gentleman's walking down the street. I want you to pay attention to something, see if I can see it here. See the, 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 the monkey on the bike creeping right there, right? Misses the first time. Right here. Okay, so if you see this right here, let me make sure my little, my dilly dally's working. Right here. This gentleman appears to have a hearing aid. Now, I don't know if that's a, you know, a device like sometimes they have on the stages when they're communicating, you know, the security or whatever it may be, but it appears, in my opinion, to be a hearing aid. You'll see a little bit more in the video in just a second. Um, so this is a person that you would consider maybe slightly having a slight handicap, right? But you got the angry monkey woman in a mask throwing eggs at the black man. Now, had they, these roles been reversed, had this been Obama walking down the streets of California and somebody threw an egg at him, you guys would try to burn the internet down if you could. Can't, but you would try. Because you would holler all kind of racism. Racism would be the trending tag on Twitter and all that other good stuff. But you don't hear anything about it. You're not going to hear black folks talk about it. Why? Because he's a conservative. Anytime you're talking about accountability, self-respect, you know, anything along those lines, it all of a sudden becomes white supremacy. Well, you know, several hundred years ago, we were limited in access. But now we got access to everything. But somehow the magic white man is still keeping us from being able to move forward. Even though this time the magic white man... It's a black man. Anywho, so like I said, this guy right here with the hearing aid is accosted by uh, the pink monkey woman. Okay, so let us let us continue. Now here comes the super save us. She just struck him, right? All he did many times men try to do it a lot of women these days, especially seem to be those type of women on that side who are misbehaving and don't want to be under any kind of guidance or structure. Um, he's trying to restrain her from bad behavior. Right? Here come the super saver simps. Don't touch her. Don't do, you, you do that to a woman. You let her misbehave and do whatever she wants to, even though she's disrespecting everybody out here and herself. You let her do it. This comes super saver simps, right? Those suckers. Okay? And if these are you related to these people, I'm not sorry. You're related to some suckers. If you are one of these people, then you are a sucker. You know, he strikes this man for him trying to hold down some type of civil uh, behavior. So he strikes him. Who do they go on the attack against? Him. Threatening him, but was he bucking up at him? What was this, this ponytail back there? Uh, here comes Monkey in the Mask number two. Democrats are doing everything. They've been doing it, buddy. And look at where you are. Then here comes number three. Y'all ever played... Um, can't remember which fallout it was with the ghoul <laughs> the ghoul character i can't remember the name yeah this boy is really really rad. that's this guy right here one he looks kind of like a ghoul and he sounds exactly like a ghoul if you know which fallout i'm talking about drop that in the comments you know the character's name drop that in the comments yeah, i'll fuck you up and all that is it see dumb again struck again right get this man is getting attacked has done nothing to anybody but certain groups think that this behavior is okay. Again, if you reverse the roles, had this been a woman, had this been, uh, you know, the guy that the left likes, this would be sexism, this would be racism, this would be oppression, this would be patriarchy. You would come out with any and everything that you could, but because you don't have that leg to stand on, I guess, you know, it's okay, right? Because these people don't agree with you, it's okay to attack them. We see who's really causing a lot of divide in this society, right? Who is who is resorting to violence? And usually you generally resort to violence when, you know, your logic, your ability to think, uh, communicate has expired. When you, you know, you've run out of things to say because you no longer have points to make. You just get violent. Now, <clears throat> I meant to catch it. I got to pass it back. I, maybe I'll come back here in a minute. But they knocked the earpiece out of his ear when he got struck that time. I got so caught up in the other stuff. His earpiece or his hearing aid or whatever that was got knocked out of his ear. But this is okay. This is fine. You know, this is fine like the little dog sitting in the fire. Nothing wrong with any of this behavior. This is totally acceptable, right? Again, flip the script, reverse the roles. 
change the colors, whatever you want to, y'all will be crying. I'm a person that believes in equal treatment for everybody. I don't care about what's happened in the past. I don't care about any of those things. Yes, there were hurdles and obstacles that must be overcome. But if you live your life based on those hurdles and obstacles, you will never make progression, right? And so a man, it's like me, skin tone wise, probably is much more conservative than I am, doesn't. I'm pretty sure his hat said they say things to say about the way that a person like me would dress, behave, and I think, but I don't let these things, I don't take them personally. Does he know me personally? Absolutely not. Uh, but can I see his point? Absolutely so. <clears throat> but because people get emotional instead of logical and don't think they want to attack a man walking down the street who's done nothing to anybody, done nothing but espouse his ideas and thoughts of what he could do to improve his state. And you want to attack him. a racist he's a racist and then this is where people come with the self-hate and all this other stuff right carry on take your mask off and say that take your mask like uh, people behind anonymous avatars, people who wear masks, they're not serious. They're not real, right? If you're hiding behind something, you don't really mean what you say because you're not really willing to take it all the way from what you believe. And that's why I'm a firm believer of putting myself out here when I say these things. Because it's hard for me to take somebody, I, it's not hard, I don't take somebody serious who talks behind uh, a mask, right? And you say, well, I got stuff to well, then Obviously, you don't feel that strongly about the things that you say. But a guy like this, and hey, take it off. Let's be let's be heard clearly. Make sure you know who you are. Make sure it's said, uh, so people can say, hey, they can they can approve uh, the gentleman who made these thoughts that they agree with or that they may disagree with, right? But instead, hide behind the mask. Monkey number two. For what? He has one year to do if he even wins. He can't do shit. Why not give him a chance though? Why are you so afraid of giving him a chance? That's what I wonder. Why? What is it that's going on that all of these, these media outlets, these newspapers, people like this in the streets are attacking a man who feels like he could improve his state, who feels like he can do a better job than the man who's currently there? What's wrong with that? What happened to, you know, voting, using your vote to make that decision? What happened to, you know, using your voice with your vote? But Instead, we attack the man, we cry about it. Uh, and, and my favorite part of the whole thing. He wouldn't be able to get nothing done, so why is he running? So, and this is, this is uh, I want y'all to hear this, right? Because this is the typical loser nigga mindset. Why even try? Why even try? Because I don't see it, you should. And it's when I say niggas, niggas transgress all races. So if you knew to this, don't be like, oh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about white niggas, black niggas, Mexican niggas. There's very few Asian niggas. There's some Asian niggas out there. Um, why even try? Because it can't be done. You can't do anything. You can't change it. You've given up. A defeatist mindset. Avoid people like this in your life, period. Whether you are running for something, whether you're just trying to do something, whether you're trying to build something, whether you're just waking up and trying to enjoy your life. Avoid people like this. Whether you agree with my message or disagree with it, you should avoid people like this at all costs. They're detrimental to your existence. And then this. Democrats control everything. He could get... Democrats, Democrats should control everything. Not like I said, he said should or he stuttered, he said do control everything. Either way, you just said it. If you said they should, look at how that's working out for you. If you said they do, or if you said how has how, how, I'm sorry, <laughs> if you said they should, look how that has worked out for you historically. If you say they do, then look how that's working out for you now, right? Um, all I'm saying is, man, we got to do better. You know, you can't respond to everything emotion. Again, if you'd have flipped the script and there'd have been a white lady on a bike throwing something at Obama or you know one of those guys you like, uh, if you were on the other side, or um, you know. You gotta understand how would you respond to that, right? And then to flip the script, if you, you know, are pro Larry Elder, 
how would you respond if that was somebody on the side and this was somebody that you might have been opposed to and this behavior was going on? Because a lot of times we don't look at both sides of the coin. A lot of times we just look at it when the person that you're all about gets attacked, right? Um, so I'm curious about how you think. I want to know what you think about this. I'm going to cut it short. It's a little bit longer than I wanted to. Uh, and got to take care of something. So I was trying to record something kind of quick. I'm going over a little bit longer than I planned. But I appreciate you if you got this far. Uh, you know, leave a comment down below. And I know you're like, Hancho recorded a video. How long has it been since Hancho recorded something in the den? I told y'all. I'm getting back to it. But with that being said, I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tune in every evening, Sunday through Friday. Uh, 9 p.m. Central Time, we go live, I open up the deadline, we take calls, we talk about various topics, many of them controversial, uh, because I think those things are good to speak on. It's good to know how people in society really think, not those that have been filtered by the media, uh, and you know they try to force you to hear and see certain opinions. I think it's a little bit different than that. But anyway, with that being said, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you guys to get the fuck out to the I'm going.